So rings, uh, if we're buying just off the shelf box kits or rings, you can generally just put them in the engine and be okay. But that's not what we want in the racing world. No, racers. We want to blueprint it. We want to make it absolutely correct. So part of the blueprinting process is making sure all our clearances are correct, all our bearing clearances are correct, our end gaps on the rings are correct, our end play on the crankshaft is correct. We're making sure that everything's the same in all the cylinders, whether that's four, six, eight, however. Right. And part of that is putting the rings individually into the cylinder and checking those gaps. So you can buy a type of ring set that's called a file fit. And the top and second ring are specifically made oversized so that you have very, very tight gaps. We can't just take those out of the you know, box, stuff them into the engine. You could have a massive failure. You always want to check it. Now I'll say this when it comes to engines. You check, double check, triple check. We never just put it together and run it. That's a recipe for disaster, no matter what kind of parts you buy. 100%. But what we're doing with the rings is we're going to use a tool like this, and we're gonna come in, and we're gonna mount a ring in here. Okay. And then we're gonna take that, bring it up to the wheel. We're gonna zero it out. You know, if there was a ring in here, you'd see it. Yep. We'll have a ring up against the grinding wheel. Mm -hmm. Zero out the dial indicator. Okay. Which I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the long way around here. Okay, it'll get there. And then we'll bring in how much do I want to take off? So let's say I want to take off four thousands. Yeah. I'm going to dial in for four thousands. I'm going to make that sweep across the ring, okay. across the power wheel, and I just cut four thousands off of it. So this wow. is an electric or a power ring filer. Mm -hmm. And you can do it with a manual. We do sell manual ones, hand crank ones, yep. and they work. You know, if you're a casual builder and you just do an engine here, an engine I've there, those you can buy a manual ring filer. That's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, we do actually produce a version of this that right. is the same type of machine as this, but it's not powered. Oh. It actually just has a little stub shaft off of it, and you can put an electric drill motor on it and power your own power ring okay. filer. Very similar. They're available through Summit. We make it exclusively for them. Very cool piece. Saves you a little money.